And although the lot seems pretty empty behind me, architects say that the groundbreaking ceremony should take place sometime later this year. I'm here in Inez, Kentucky, where Sheriff John Kirk has created a program that aims to detour citizens from becoming repeat offenders. Faculty says it's heartwarming to see the Upike community come together in hard times like these. Tonight, folks from the community painted a beach scene while wearing one of these flannels to protect their clothing. Tonight's artist started out with a blank canvas like this one and ended up with one like this. Former coal miner Gary Fletcher has found a way to provide for his family in a health conscious manner. Fitness is, is a passion of mine. I've just always been involved in fitness and when the coal mines shut down, I had to do something. That something would consist of starting his own gym to benefit the local community. The economy is down right now. You know, people, I've had people say, well, you know, $35 is pretty cheap for a 24-hour fitness center. But you got to look around, you know, coal miners just like myself, you know, there, there's really not many jobs in this area. And a lot of people's moving away, going to Western Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, just to do coal mines. And um, so I'm just, I'm not going to try to break everybody up. Fletcher says he has high hopes for the new year. We opened up November the 2nd and we've topped out right at 235 members, which is pretty amazing. People is so good over here, so respectful of my equipment. They take care of, they keep everything nice and clean. And I gotta say, you know, it's it's been one big blessing this gym has. One gym member says Fletcher's love for fitness is apparent and he truly cares for his clients. Gary's a good guy. It's uh, nice to see someone his age that is dedicated fully to what he does. Uh, you can tell by the members in here, they're always happy. Uh, they can tell by what they do, they're dedicated just like he is. Uh, the integrity he shows as far as his gym, he's always in here. You got his number, you can always call him if you need help. And he always checks on his members, uh, even after they leave the gym. You know, when you put a 24 hour system in, there's actually no limits. Um, we've all been around these gyms that shut down at eight, nine o'clock at night, and that puts limits on you. And now you have no excuses, and like the door says, no limits. For the Appalachian Broadcast Network, I'm Marianne Fletcher. A Super Smash Brothers tournament was held on December 8th in the administration building. Students were able to pit some of their favorite video game characters against each other and let off some steam. Pizza was served at the event and some players stuck around afterwards to enjoy some more friendly competition. The action got heated, and I must say that it must have been quite the brawl. Come on, Marianne. I'm feeling it was a smash. For our next segment, the past week was Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Week here at the university. The week was packed full of activities beginning on Sunday with a free showing of the hunting ground in Booth Auditorium and ended with a round table discussion and a clothesline project. I'm here in Inez, Kentucky, where the Summer Entrepreneurship Camp took place. Some of the Martin County Middle School students had the chance to not only create, but to present their idea for their very own startup company. For our next segment, I had the chance to cover a stress-relieving meditation session. With finals week just around the corner here at the University of Pikeville, students are seeking different ways to deal with the stress. University chaplain Rob Music says there's a new experience waiting for students that some may have forgotten. I think it's a new experience for most people because, you know, if you lived here in eastern Kentucky, you probably haven't sat around and meditated much. Um, so it's a different experience, which I think all new experiences help us learn. Music also says that finals week is the perfect time for meditation. It's like tonight we talked about meditation and using just like a two-minute meditation before an exam or during the exam. So, you know, you get the first ten questions and you're like, oh, snap, this is going to be bad. It's slowing down, meditating, and kind of centering yourself to handle the rest of the exam. I also sat down with a woman who has made meditation her life. It's very informal and it's an opportunity for those people who would like to come together and they can be new, just wanting to learn how to meditate, or they can be people who have some meditation experience. Garvey stressed that although she has been meditating for over 40 years, that meditation can be practiced by anyone of any religion. So it doesn't require any particular belief system to be able to do this form of meditation. It's really just about being present and learning to be present and learning to tame the mind and bring the mind back into 
being just here in this moment. For Bear TV News, I'm Marianne Fletcher.